Hello, I've got something exciting to show you. This is our V3 hybrid turbo, third generation of factory fitment hybrid turbos for your Mercedes OM606. So this bad boy is capable of producing a little over 300 horsepower and has some awesome features over our already awesome original. So to name a few of these awesome features, I think you can probably see one of them without looking too hard. What we've got there is a compressor inlet compatible with all the standard hosing of a, like an E300 or a Land Rover Airbox or whatever. Uh, but I've integrated the dimpling, the um, golf ball effect into the compressor inlet, which means we can benefit from some turbulated air going into the turbocharger. Now, if you want to learn more about that, go on to the Motor Trend uh, website and there's a write-up, there's an article all about it and it tells you the benefits, all the different places that people have tried the dimpling effect and the two that were proven to be particularly good, one was turbo inlets and one was piston crowns. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen, a turbo inlet with that turbulation, which I think is amazing. I'm keeping this stuff up to date for you. Next, we've got the billet inlet, the billet compressor wheel, should I say in a nice gold hue. And then that is connected to our new core assembly. So this core is different to our original core. This core is a, a completely revised version. It's not an original with larger bearings. Uh, it's not a modification of an original. This is a completely new and custom core. Larger internals, larger bearings, larger shaft and the benefit of water cooling, which is a big benefit if you're pushing a small frame turbo like this, because that water cooling is gonna keep the turbo temperature stable. So when you go out there and you start thrashing it and you've instantly got expansion in the, uh, the shaft or in the turbine wheel, but the housing's still cold, etc., etc., it's going to try and prevent that and it's going to basically make the warm up process slower and also when you flick the engine off, the cool down process slower as well. And that really extends the life of your turbo and the bearings. Also, the housing that you can see. Now these housings are original Mercedes housings, which we remanufacture. All the hybrids were the same. You know, they'd be remachined and the new cars would go inside. These are no different apart from we've gone to the absolute maximum with the standard wastegate. We've made that huge to be able to get that uh, back pressure away once the wastegate opens. And also, we've welded up all the cracks of all the housings. So it's very normal when you uh, get a hybrid to rebuild it, to have cracks in the housing. It's, it's extremely rare, maybe one in 10, to find a housing without cracks in them nowadays. Um, most small cracks aren't an issue. However, I wanted to go the extra step, grind those out, drill them at the ends and weld them up. So when you get your new V3, everything's welded up before it's machined. And that is like perfection that you're gonna put on your car. Next thing you're gonna notice is this, this return pipe. We've had to do a modified return pipe because with the new car, the original return pipe just wouldn't fit. The, the feed line, the turbo feed line, which you can see in the background here, as long as it is the banjo version feed line, hard line, it'll fit absolutely fine with this application. If you have the other type, which is like a flare nut, that won't work unless you get yourself a male-to-male -male adapter. I'm sure the male-to-male -male adapters are available out there. I'm just struggling with supply. So if you have that version, it comes with the banjo, it's direct fit. So um, the other things that come with the turbo is a length of water cooling hose, because if you're running this in a 210, you're gonna put the uh, original coolant return line that went from the um, front of the radiator to the top of the header tank directly into the barb of the turbo. And this is gonna then go to the header tank. So you're gonna just basically have enough hose to be able to route that passage back. Um, couple of bits that we've got next to me here, the gasket and bolts, obviously they will come with the hybrid. You'll get everything that you need to fit them. Um, the factory turbos did not have a gasket. I created a copper gasket, which I've had great results with. 
that I use with turbos and engine builds and things like that. You can buy these on the shop. It's not essential if you don't want to use it. If you want to keep it original metal to metal, that's fine. But they are older housings. They are older manifolds. Mm, it's cheap insurance. Another thing as well, which may be useful for your build, this outlet flange that we sell is a, uh, uh, basically a, a clamp on Marmon flange that replicates the original outlet. As you probably know, if you know anything about 606s, you've been involved with 606s, the factory turbo has a huge outlet and it has a very bizarre clamp design, a very bizarre flange design, shall we say. It's not flat, it's angled. So we make something that fits that, uh, which makes it easy for install. So the big question is, what sort of power? I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the beginning, but uh, we would expect 300 horsepower crank. This is probably capable of a bit more, but I was hesitant there because I like to give a power output that's gonna make a turbo last. 300 horsepower at the crank, which is good. That's like probably 20 horsepower more than our previous versions. And we proved that in the last 210 video with the very early version of this. Uh, and since we've actually gained this turbulated inlet and a few other details, I'm more confident still. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I think you should buy one um, and put it on your car. There, Ace. Bye for now.